Claire, what can you see right now? Uh, nothing now. Nothing now. Everybody ready? Okay. So three, two, one, start stimulation. Yes. Can you see? <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, can you see, Larry? Yes. Oh my goodness. Can I give him a kiss? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. Can you really see? Yes. Oh it's my flashing. goodness. Big time flashing. They're flashing? Oh my goodness. That's so cool. Larry Hester, 66, has been blind for half his life from a condition called retinitis pigmentosa. In September, an electronic stimulator was surgically implanted in his left eye. On October 1st, Duke eye surgeon Dr. Paul Hahn turned it on for the first time. So the journey is just beginning. This is day one of hopefully the rest of his life. Um, I think turning this device on allows him to experience a whole new world. And it's not vision as we traditionally know it, but it's a whole new type of vision for him. Are they uglies? Is that what they are? Yeah, they are. They are cool. <laughs> Only the coolest from Bob. That's right. It was incredible. It was bright and it was significant. And I, I just had to take a deep breath and I was just, it, it was hard to articulate what I was feeling, but I wanted to share it with everybody I could grab at the time and hug. Thank you for this opportunity for Larry to see a little bit again. Uh, these patients have been essentially living in blackness in, in most cases for many, many years. And so what this is doing is almost, if you could imagine, um, almost a, a, a pixelated uh, type of vision where they are getting stimulated with flashes of light when they perceive something that's bright and when they, their camera is picking up something that is darker, then, then they get less flashes of light. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, you did it. You went right to it. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. That's pretty cool, Way to huh? go, Larry. Wow. I mean, that's, that's significant right there. Wow, that's, that's cool. <laughs> that's great. That's amazing. <laughs> Isn't remarkable. that wonderful? That is it's only going to get better. On, you know that. it? Hold on, I got to do that. <laughs> so the patient uh, essentially has to try to determine what those flashes of light mean. And in, in many cases, it can help them determine where a window is, uh, light coming in uh, through the window or where a doorway is and essentially help them navigate uh, the world around them. And it's going to be challenging because you're, you're going to feel it with your hands and all yeah, that yeah. stuff. But... It, it's so basic. The light is so basic and, and probably wouldn't have significance to anybody else, but to me it's meaning I can see light and we can go from here. This is a milestone to me on many fronts. I think on, a, on, a, on an individual level for Mr. Hester, it's a milestone because again, for the first time, he can experience something that he hasn't experienced for 30 years. I think this represents a new generation of medicine where rather than just treating um, or, or just watching as patients lose vision or trying to stabilize vision, for the first time, we can artificially restore vision. And I think this opens the door to a whole new generation or era of medicine, which is almost like science fiction.